Okay, top of the morning. Also, I did not get out of the shower. I'm trying to fix my hair, but I fear I just have it a little messy since it looks nice when it's messy. I don't know, but I freaking saw this coming. Because there were reports going around that, oh, we're going to get the Volume 3 trailer later today. And I'm like, I swear to God, this is going to come out right after I, I get out of school. And guess what? It did get, get out as I got out of school. That didn't come out. Let me rephrase that. It did came out on YouTube as soon as I got out of school. But you get what I mean. And I suppose I want this to be a separate video. Say so I'm turning into another double trailer reaction because apparently we got a, a trailer for Indiana Jones 5. That I'll talk about later, but enough just yet. Time to watch Volume 3. Oh my god, they weren't coming accurate outfits. We come in peace. Oh my god, Drax! Drax, what the hell? From director James Gunn. Oh no. We have been running our whole lives. Pete, I'm done running. Next summer. The high evolutionary. May 5th. Oh! Oh! oh sh this, this movie's gonna break all of us. Man, we just had, we just got the Guardian special about a, about, almost a week ago, and that just, that was pretty much the calm before the storm because, uh, oh, I dropped my remote. This movie's gonna, just, just, personal s is about to go down in this movie. Oh! oh. Oh, man! But before I talk about my thoughts with Volume 3, let, let's just check out the new trailer for Indiana Jones, which... <laughs> I'm surprised that came out today. I heard that it would be coming out in December, but I didn't think it would immediately be out on the first... Like, damn, December's starting out pretty strong. We got the Transformers trailer, and now the Indiana... Oh, I now just press play. Next summer. I don't believe in magic. But a few times in my life, I've seen things. Things I can't explain. But I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. It's how hard you believe. Damn! Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> oh, whoa! Huh? That's, that's a pretty good 
pretty good trailer, not gonna lie. Alright, so I am aware of Indiana Jones. I have heard of of the franchise, and I have probably have seen the movies in my childhood, but I'm not like a long time fan, but I, I mean, like, I think that, like, I mean, I, th I, pr I think I pretty much liked them as a kid. I don't know, like, I, it's been like a while, but I'm gonna be surprised if I find out that, oh my god, I actually haven't seen these movies, but I highly doubt it because I definitely know I saw one of them. I don't know, I, de I de basically, I definitely have seen these sometime in my childhood, but, um, that was a pretty good trailer! Now, it may not be on my top ten list, now obviously it's gonna be on everyone else's top ten list of anticipated movies, but just... Like, I'm just not too excited because I, 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 I'm I not, like, a long-time Indiana Jones fan, but, I, I, I mean, I, I dig the franchise, but just, I, I mean, I'll, I, I, I'll play probably number 11. I don't know. We shall see where it will go, but what I would like to talk about is just Volume 3. Oh, man, just, as soon as this is out in theaters, James Gunn is done with Marvel and is full-on focusing with DC, but as of right now, he's doing both Marvel and DC, but just... Oh, man, like, oh, yeah, this trailer, th this movie, no, this movie is gonna break all of us, like, there's a possibility one of these Guardians is gonna die. Oh, man, I, you know what, I may be excited for this more than Ant-Man 3, which, that's gonna be kicking off Phase 5, and this big, big stuff is about to go down, but just, like, oh. Uh, I might have issues trying to place which ones I'm anticipating. Like, just, I'm anticipating all three MC movies next year, but just, um, I don't know which one I'm anticipating the most. Either Volume 3 or the Marvels or, uh, Guardians. Like, ah, I, I'm totally gonna cry in the theater. Like, this, like, just, I mean, I dug the Guardians movies. I liked them, but as I, but just in the next couple, later on in the past couple of years, I've come to realize that, wow, I, actually really love the Guardians, like, just, not that I disliked them or anything, I like, I mean, I like the movies, like I said, I like every single MCU project, like, I don't have a project that I dislike, sure, Thumb and Thunder was a miss for me and all, but I still liked it, just didn't come out loving it, but, like, just, I mean, I dug the Guardians, and just, I, I've come to realize that, wow, I really, I really have an attachment for these characters, like, just, what, James Gunn, what did you do to me? And James Gunn, like, he's a god genius, because, wow, I'm just, I've not appreciated him more. I mean, I've, I mean, I've heard of him a couple of times, especially when he got fired from Marvel slash Disney and all that, but just up until recently from last year, just I've just been appreciating him a little bit with Suicide Squad. And then I appreciated him a lot more with just the with Peacemaker, which is one of the best shows I've seen this year. But just like just he's just this has been James Gunn's year, honestly, which is Peacemaker and him becoming Kevin Feige of the DC of DC Studios, and now his, like, his holiday special just came out a week ago, like, just, I'm, I pledge my allegiance to James Gunn, but seriously, though, this, this movie's gonna break all of us. But that was my double trailer reaction for Volume 3 of The Guardians of the Galaxy, but also Indiana Jones 5. Again, not too pumped up about Indiana Jones 5, because I, I, I'm not, like, a long-time fan, but I am still gonna check it out, because it's, that, it's pretty much like a treasure hunt movie, and, uh, I'm a sucker for treasure hunt movies. So though, we shall see what will be on my top ten most anticipated. I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be anticipating a bunch of movies since I was pretty much anticipating like 32 for this year, and five of them had gone delayed, and one of them got canceled. No wait, actually, I think it was either either five or four had gotten delayed, and one got canceled, and that would be the Batgirl, Batgirl movie. I mean, so yeah, I am gonna be anticipating a lot of movies for next year because like 2023 looks to be the like, I think 2023 is going to be a big year, so it could be a special year. I, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be in Spain a lot, but we shall see what will be on my top 10 list. But, as always, I'll see you guys in the next Double Trailer Reaction. Peace out.